The poise that he plays with on the floor and the advantage when he's handling the ball, he can see over the defense. And so he's a willing passer. He rebounds the ball. He plays a good all-around game, and he's always under control. And I think that he's going to be, by the end of the season, in the top five uh, candidates for MVP of the league. I really believe that. Gosh. I do, I do too, too. I, I think so, too. I think he's going to be on the all-star team. He, I think he's going to make one of these league, um, all leagues this year, too. He's playing that way. We didn't even have Dallas in the playoffs, but now I got Dallas really, really deep in the playoffs. And, you know, uh, we have to just say this kid has did it, too. He's took in a team after Dirk Nowinski then left, and now he's the guy, and he's got them ball playing, which we didn't even think that was going to happen. And that's what you do. You that's, be, that's the MVP to me. When you have a guy like that that come and change a whole, whole uh, basketball organization, and this is what this kid is doing. And what it's allowing to happen for the Mavericks is – Kristaps Porzingis Porzingis, coming off of of an injury. Usually it takes you about a year to get back to your form. Luka's playing so well and elevating the play of the team that he's allowing Kristaps to kind of still be under the radar, but he's he's starting to get better and better each game. But but he's still averaging about 20. He's He's still averaging about 20, though. We forgot to talk about him, so he's still averaging 20. But he's going to be able to sneak in, and then, you know, before you – I mean, that's going to be a two-headed monster that you're going to see together for a long time.